I made a short video about my pouch because it's finished and I think you get a better sense of what it's like in a video. Just to say, this is the first one I made. This is one that I made for myself. I don't know if you remember it from my blog. This one's quite big and I keep my muslin in here. Um, you know, and this, you know, because it's quite big, the opening is quite large. Um, and that'll explain something to do with the new one, why I've done something to do with the new one. So I can just get my muslin in and out of there and actually keep it folded over like that. So that's like my little muslin pouch. Well, not little, it's quite big, as I said. So this one, I haven't stitched up too far in from the edges. I wanted to leave the opening quite big in comparison to the pouch because I think it'll be easier to get your stuff out now I I mean you can keep what you want in this it's entirely up to whoever gets it in the end um, but I just think they're lovely for cloth because I think cloth is so special that it's nice to have something that's been made by hand that's made of cloth special cloth to, the, to then put your own cloth in that you consider to be special so that's the opening it's lined with um, like a ribbed cotton and it's all constructed by hand the sides are constructed by hand the openings you know finished by hand with buttonhole stitch um, a little bit of loose thread there so you know this is the surface the embroidery on the surface and remember that frill I couldn't decide on my blog whether to catch it down or keep it free well that kind of goes around the side and this is the back so that finishes round here and there's like a little pocket here under this little bit of lace cloth that I made myself. There's a lot of bullion knots on here, some applique circles with bullion knots and there's little square appliques and then there's like another little frill here that could also be, you know, considered as a pocket. So it is quite lovely. The surface, you know, has quite a lot of sympathetic embellishment on it. And here, there's like three layers of lace here. There's one here, then this one that's caught down with web stitches. And this bottom one is caught down with wrapped threads going over. And on the seams, there's cross stitch, buttonhole lace, simple running stitch. Um, and there's a full seam of web stitches here as well. So that's the pouch basically. I just wanted to make a little video because I think it gives you a better sense of the piece um, when you get to see it on video. And how big is it? Well, wouldn't you know, typical me, haven't got my tape measure to hand. Um, let me think. I haven't got my tape measure to hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. About eight inches by ten, perhaps. But I will measure it later um, and write the uh, dimensions down. So that's it. So just thought I'd share that with you.